how are you doing today? Well, I'm doing fine. How about you? This is Blessing, your friend Lily Coach, your online business English coach for business owners. Oh, so thanks for joining me today. So today we're going to talk about... Most times we only do the things that are important to us. And that is why no matter how busy your day is, you eat, you talk to your loved ones. Today I'm going to talk about how to improve your business English skills despite your busy schedules as a business owner. Let's assume that you are in a business meeting with one of your most important clients. Then you forget a specific word you want to say. What will you do? You try to explain it in different words so that your important client can understand you. Am I right? Yes. And why did you do that? That's because that line is important to you. Not me to add in yourself and recall, remember that your priority is to make your clients and business partners understand you well in business meetings. For you to achieve fluency that you deserve so much, use your business English skills in real life situations. Try to write that business email that you were scared to write and send it. Speak at your next business meetings. You don't need to wait to be perfect. And at times, not at times, most times as business owners, we want to be in charge. That's normal. You don't want to feel insecure and lose your confidence when speaking with the clients or business partners. So I'll give you some tips that will help you sharpen your business English skills despite your business case as a business owner. First thing is pretend you are speaking of presenting an idea your clients or business partners try to pretend as if you're doing that then take a notebook or a sheet of paper or blast paper on the other side you can write on maybe on your tablet or your phone or on your computer or laptop write all you intend to say in those business meetings. Don't worry too much about mistakes. And the last one is practice the way you want to speak or present so that you will be able to speak or present your ideas clearly and confidently. Okay, I'll let me open the tips. The first one is present. Um, okay, sorry. Pretend as if you were speaking or presenting an idea to your clients or business partners. The second one is write all you intend to say in those business meetings. The third one is don't worry too much about your mistakes. And the fourth one is Practice the way you want to speak or present so you can speak or present your ideas clearly and confidently. And in case you have a friend that needs this, you can share this with your friend and in case you want to improve your business English skills despite your tight schedules as a business owner, 
and maybe you want to get more business deals with your improved um, with improved business English skills you can reach out to me okay For joining me today please subscribe so you can hear more from me in case you want to reach out to me please check out my social media and news on instagram at friend of the coach on twitter at friend of the coach on facebook friend of the coach on tiktok friend of the coach and my official website is www friendlycoach.com see you next week boom <laughs>